Oh my goodness, guys, have I got some products today for you. Oh. Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you're all doing super well and having a fantastic, fantastic week. We are here to be talking about some more TikTok beauty products. These are products that I found that are really, really hyped up. Everyone seems to be talking about them, using them, loving them. So naturally I had to go out and buy them and test them out. Some of them are brand new to me. Some of the more skincare related products I've been testing for a number of months and want to give you my honest opinion on, let you know what's up and just see what's worth the hype and what isn't. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already for new videos here every single Thursday. I was gonna say Saturday, but that's that's the other channel. <laughs> but there are new videos every Saturday on my other channel in case you missed it. And now let's start with the makeup. So starting with one by Fenty, and this is a new launch for them. This is the Bright Fix Eye Brightener. And this is a concealer that is going to brighten and lighten up the area. A lot of people have been raving about this particular product. It is, according to the package, supposed to instantly hydrate, brighten, blur, and it can give you sheer to buildable coverage depending on what you want, and it's not going to budge. So we're going to put it to a full day wear test, because obviously. Obviously, the So I have a couple of shades here. Uh, I think... I'm gonna go maybe with seashell that is 03. And the applicator is really cool for this one. It has this sort of like, it's almost like a dropper. It's kind of all bubbly and fun. Ooh, it's already coming out. Ah, so I think this will be the right shade. Right shade for me. Maybe 02 Golden Ivory. All right, so I swatched two in a, like a very sheer way, um, 02 and 03. 02 is definitely more, has, has more of like a yellow undertone and 03 is more of a peachy. Tone, so I'm gonna go with 03, I think. Product feels really nice in the hand and it is surprisingly quite blurring. Okay, let's give this a go then. I'm going to put a little bit up and then I'm gonna dot it under my eyes here. And then one right there, just, you know, kind of kind of like that. Then I'm gonna use my fingertips to blend on the one side and maybe a brush for the other. Already, I can tell you that this was too much. This is, <laughs> I did not need this much. Okay. Good note, I'm gonna take my sponge and just kind of blend some of this out. This, by the way, I get a lot of questions about this particular sponge. I uh, use this on my foundation today. This is the Stands Out Beauty Sponge. I really like it, it's nice and squishy. It washes really easily, lots of surface to work with. I like it. All right, I think I like how the sponge is blending everything out. It looks really, really beautiful under the eyes, actually. It looks really pretty in person right here, like it is looking natural, but sort of like blurred out. You can still kind of see a little bit of blue poking through, but I'm not mad at that. This to me is that perfect level of like, no, 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 I naturally look like this. I'm just very awake as a person. Let's blend out this side. And obviously the test is gonna be longevity. Is it gonna get all creasy? Is it going to look good and stay nice all day, even outside, running around with kiddos, you know? These are the questions. These are my makeup questions. I really like that so far. I really like that. Looks good. It looks bright. It doesn't look overly fake. It doesn't look cakey or anything. Like, What's, what's not to like about this? And now we're gonna test another product that I actually mentioned because I've swatched it in the last video, but I haven't actually used it yet because I wanted to save it to like do this together. And that is this one. This is the Bite Beauty Whipped Blush. I'm just gonna <laughs> zoom you out again. And I've seen a bunch of people talking about this one. First of all, packaging, super cute. It's got this nice little, again, squeezy kind of tube. It is a whipped blush. It gives a nice like flush to the skin. I think they came out with, I want to say five, four or five shades. The two I have in front of me, this one is Hibiscus Slush. And then this one is Daycation. So I have swatched the Daycation one, but I haven't swatched the um, hibiscus one. So we're gonna swatch them both. Come on, come out. Well, there we go. Just a little bit. I find these bottles to be a little bit hard to squeeze. Both of them have a little hint of like a sheen to them, like a little glowiness. So this is what they look like swatched hibiscus and vacation. I am gonna go with vacation. I think that's going to, I don't know, suit me better. I think this one feels a little like violet for me. So let's do that. So I'm gonna dot a little on my cheeks and then we're gonna blend it out. Boop, there we go. No blend. And I'm just blending in with my fingertips because that's what I saw all of the people on the interwebs using. You can see it's blending out to sort of a blurred like finish. Definitely not on the light side considering how much I applied. It's blending out well. 
Gives you a nice blushy glow. That's cute. I'm not mad at that. It looks a lot better on this side than it does on this side. At least that's what it looks like in person. What do you guys think? I think that's pretty. Oh my gosh, I will be thrilled if all of these products work well. <laughs> I can hear kids outside through my window. I hear someone yell, Carolyn, stop eating all the snacks. Carolyn is a mood. That's so pretty. I really like that. It looks really good in person. It gives a nice like like flush. We're gonna see how long lasting it is. That's always my thing with cream blushes. And unless you set it really well with like a powder blush or just a powder, it does tend to fade really quickly. So we will see if that's the case for this one. Blushy, glowy, magic, love it. And then for the eyes, the only thing I haven't done yet is my mascara because I wanted to use another one on camera. I haven't used it on camera, I have used it behind the scenes and that is the Maybelline Sky High mascara which had a moment uh, a while back on TikTok and everyone was like obsessed with it could not get enough of this mascara and at the time I was debating between using this mascara and testing it or the Falscara for my last TikTok like beauty products in January and uh, I ended up choosing the Falscara but I did end up using this one so I wanted to show you guys on camera because I don't think I've actually talked about this at all so I find this to be more of like lengthening not a lot of like massive volume that I've noticed I'll typically blend this actually I'll use this plus the L'Oreal what is it the air volume I'll mix these two together and that's such a pretty dynamic duo but like there, there is my lashes with one coat on and then nothing on this eye it is really pretty all right so we'll finish up the other eye here so there we go we have two coats on the eyes right now this is a tubing mascara so when you <laughs> take it off at night don't be alarmed so that is my lashes right there you can see a lot of um, length not a ton of volume but like enough there with the two coats um, so yeah, so that is what that looks like. Let me know of those three, like which one is your favorite? Leave me a comment. Okay, quick update. This is natural light on the blush and the concealer. So you can see what it looks like there. I think it still looks really good. The blush may, maybe a little patchy. Maybe like a little bit. I really like how dewy it is. I don't have any, um, I don't have any highlight on. That's such so shocking. And concealer seems to be holding up well so far. Looks really natural, which I like. So we'll see, we'll see what this looks like by end of day. Fingers crossed. Okay guys, it is now the end of the day and I am taking advantage of the natural light that we have like just a smidge, I have like five minutes left of natural light. My lamp has already turned on because it's like 8.30. But I wanted to give you an update on the makeup. So the, um, I think the concealer has held up really well. Like it still looks really good. I'm trying to like zoom in so you guys can see it. Um, but it's held up really well throughout the day and I've been outside, inside. It's been a beautiful day out, finally. You can still see the blush on my cheeks. I just feel it won't be very waterproof for like midsummer kind of thing. If you're gonna go with Bite Beauty, I would choose their like, their change maker foundation. It's like one of my favorites, it's so good. I almost forgot the mascara. How's she looking? I feel like it's still pretty good, right? Do I like raccoon eyes? can't tell on my little, my little screen here. That's why I need to have a mirror in front of me. I feel like it still looks good. There, my lashes are still lifted. I think it still is a good one. This is, this is one of my go-tos from the drugstore right now. Between that and the L'Oreal, they're like, just like amazing. <laughs> and the next one, I have to show you the difference. I filmed it uh, maybe two weeks ago and I did before and after, so I'm, I'm gonna go show you. And for that, we need to be in my bath. Whoa, that's very <laughs> zoomed in, sorry. We have to be in my bathroom because it is the Isle of Paradise Tanning Drops. This is a self tanner. This is in the shade Dark. And so I bought this because I've been hearing so much hype about this particular product and how incredible it is. It gives you the smoothest tan. It fades easily, all these amazing things. So I did try it. I'll show you guys pictures of what I looked like before I put it on and then the next day what my skin looked like after. So you can see it does have a nice like very golden glow to it. 
For me, I found that because I am very pale, I think that the dark drops were a little too dark for me. I feel like it gave me more of an orange tone to it because I start out very naturally quite pale and I feel that the medium would have looked more natural on me even if I had added more drops because obviously the difference between the dark and the medium is the amount of DHA in it. And so it's going to change depending on what skin tone you start with. And I think that the medium just would have looked a little less orange on me. So that would be my one watch out. I found it very easy to mix in with my moisturizer. I just use the, this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. So I used some of that, slathered it all over. I used six drops per like body <laughs> section that I was working on. And, um, and that was it, it was really easy to do. It faded really nicely. I would just choose medium for myself next time. It was very nice. I mean, I can see why I have a Alexa. And now I wanna get into some skincare. And these are products that I have been trying for a while now. And I am finally ready to like share what I think of them. And the first product is one that is a favorite of one of my favorite TikTokers, Hiram, and he loves this product. It is by the Inky List and it is their Q10 product right here and it's been one of his favorites from this particular line so i've been trying it for a while this is supposed to help combat environmental damage it's supposed to help with fine lines and wrinkles and just help in general as a nice serum so typically what i will do with that one is i will put that one on some hyaluronic acid and then kind of seal it with a nice thick moisturizer and i find that works really well for me i really enjoy the feel of this product it has a really nice texture consistency it glides onto the face it feels really nice and hydrating which is nice it doesn't feel like sticky or tacky. It blends in really well. This one plays nice with others, meaning you can layer it with a bunch of different types of products without getting into trouble. Like for example, retinols and vitamin Cs can't really, can't really mix those. Mostly in the forehead is where I have noticed it, to be honest. So I do really like it and it is more on the affordable side. So it's nice to be able to experiment with products like that, that have a really good reputation for being really good and good quality and not, you know, cost $60. And now I wanna go on to a brand that has been taken over by TikTok. Like I cannot believe how popular this brand is, and that is The Ordinary. And I've been using these three products right here for probably close to two and a half, three months now. Um, and so I have some thoughts on each of them. So number one, this is the Buffet. This is the Copper Peptide 1% um, Serum. And this one, it, it has a really cool color actually. It's bright blue. This thing has a ton of incredible ingredients, but the standout one is the Copper Peptides, which is supposed to help with collagen synthesis. I really love this one. Of all of the products, I think this is probably one of my favorites. It feels really good. It feels like it's doing something to my skin and I keep going back to it because I feel like my skin looks better in the morning if I use it at night. I find that even, actually this one with the, um, the niacinamide, the, uh, what is it? What brand is it? Glow Recipe, that's the one. That combination right there is just a really great one for anti-aging and I find it's made such a difference for my skin. So I really love that one. I think that the other one, this is the uh, Marula Oil. So this is like a much less expensive, version of the Drunk Elephant one, which I love. It's a beautiful, beautiful oil. But this one is much more affordable, a really nice oil, and I really enjoy using this one with my gua sha. I would recommend getting them from an actual supplier who understands and recognizes the importance of these kinds of tools. This is what mine looks like. It's been really great at sort of a lot of lymphatic drainage. I love the gua sha. It's been an incredible tool and I'm so glad I got to learn about it because it's really amazing. And then the last one is the hyaluronic acid in B5. This is the one product that I just, I, I don't understand why it's so popular. People really like that one and I think that it's because it has this nice tackiness to it great for makeup application and, and applying other products on top, but I don't find it to be that moisturizing, hydrating for the skin. I have other hydrating hyaluronic acid um, serums that I like better than that one. And now I wanna show you guys a product. It hasn't come in yet when I'm filming this, but like it's coming in in a couple of days and I'm so excited. I found this on TikTok immediately bought it. It's so cool. Okay guys, it arrived. It's here. It's here, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. And the product is a rainbow making bath bomb. Yeah, that's right. Like a full on, like a spectacle of 
bath bomb rainbowness in the this is supposed to be kid friendly it's supposed to have this beautiful sort of rainbow effect i'll show you what it looks like when you take it out it is a one-time use this was about ten dollars or so so i think it's kind of on like lush's side of pricing but it creates this like cool rainbow thing so let's unbox it look at how cute he is it's these weird like I don't know, shavings, that's not necessary. But basically it's this little like cloud bath bomb and then these little rainbow pieces start fizzing when you put it in water and it creates this like rainbow effect. It smells good so far. So uh, let's start a bath. And now we wait. All right, I can't wait any longer. I just, I need to drop it in and see what happens. It's like a half filled bath. Okay. Woo. Oh, that's so cute. You can like move it around and stuff. Oh, I love it. Like, look at that. That is so cool. And it's just going and going. Oh my goodness. This is a 10 out of 10. Such a cute like gift idea. And it's just dissolving in the tub. I'll let you know how long it takes to fully dissolve, but like, that's so cute. I love that so much. Okay, so this is the aftermath. This is the color of the bath. You can see there's a little mat in there because the kids decided to play in it. They had a lot of fun and the rainbow part took about five minutes or so to fully dissolve and then the cloud took another five minutes or so. But they had so much fun with it and I thought it was such a good idea. Also quick note on the scent, I found it to be there, but not super over the top crazy like it just smells nice but it's not like a super overpowering one so i appreciate that but yeah i really liked it so which of these products do you like the best leave me a comment down below i'm very curious if you've tried any of these products or if there are any out there that you have seen that seem really incredible and you think i should try leave me a comment down below check out the videos on the side in case you have missed any and subscribe for new videos here every single thursday and that's everything i hope you guys are having a fantastic fantastic week and i will see you all in my next video Love you all. Mwah.